Hello everyone, it's Ricardo from MyMaker. Today we will be speaking about the laser function of the Stellar Maker 2.0. If you would like to see a general overview about the machine or especially about the 3D printing function, just check our previous video, the first one. In there you will find everything you might need to know. As I mentioned before, changing of the setup is really fast. Literally these four screws, five minutes to take, uh, less than five minutes to take the head out and replace it. And the rest of the time will be for the bed, 10 minutes total. Uh, what do we have in this head? Uh, this head is much more simple compared to the one from printing. In here we just have the laser, we have a camera and of course like a light that would act as a flash if you want to. What is this for you might say? Well you have actually two ways of working with this one. The typical would be to do some sort of diagonal so you know what's the absolute zero in your material and that's what you will be working on in Luban as a work origin. You just make sure they are matching you make sure that the piece of material is actually well parallel, like 90 degrees properly, and then you just run the job. But with the camera, what you can do is work with whatever you have here without uh, previously designing it. You, you take nine pictures of the whole bed. This is sent to Luban, and basically you design from there. So you can put whatever here, you can just put it in any angle, and actually you will work on that. As a tiny example, I said, okay, let's check my wallet scenario. I want to put a, a text in here. I, I will not have to be hesitating about the position. I can put it on any position. I can even drop it and it will be still fine because I will work on that in the software. Whenever I'm ready, I will basically run the boundary to make sure that actually the area is the one that I want to work on. And I would just run the, the actual job. It's quite simple. A uh, thing that you might not know uh, for laser engraving, this was my actual first time. I didn't have any previous experience and it was really easy and really fun. I was concerned about health and safety and I will actually dig about this uh, aspect a bit uh, after, sorry. Uh, but actually overall the machine once again surprised me a lot. I just wanted to make sure to cover the points of health and safety later on. Of course, uh, this is not a joke. This is not a souvenir, guys. Use it every time. It's not a joke. Getting back to my example, I wanted to show you something that uh, came to our minds after a while, trying to find out how to secure this material for the vibration. Because of course, Splam Maker is giving you these plugs that they are really nice. You can use them as many times as you need. But of course, they would work with a material like plywood or acrylic has to be quite thin and also flat. But when the geometry becomes a bit of an issue, it's a bit taller, different shapes, we didn't know what to do. And after a while, actually this, uh, the solution was quite more simple than what we were imagining. Double-sided tape. And you don't even have to use a lot. Uh, you just get a, new, a good one and zero problem. For this, for example, I would use probably no much than this. Um, no more than that and should do the work perfectly. So uh, what I would say, let's uh, check on how you would normally set up a job in Lupin. Let's do a quick demo and let's jump back here to do some conclusions and actually uh, speak as well about the return on the investment because uh, basically only with printing plus laser, I really think that the machine would pay it off quite fast. Let's take a look. This would be the laser section. Remember, you can do basic shapes or text. I would just load a picture over here. I would just reduce the size a bit because if not, maybe that it's too big. Let's do it like that. Always, always, I would say, try to leave your jobs centered with the absolute zero or work origin because this is what will allow you to align it with your material much, much easier. Um, of course, if you're connected to your machine already, you will see here the button that says camera capture. And basically that will be the camera of the head that will take those pictures showing you what's there on the bed. And basically you can rotate this to match with your file and just launch it and actually it doesn't fail. At the moment we are not connected to the machine, so I cannot show you that. But still, I can show you, for example, that for pictures, this is not looking right because for pictures you just want a grayscale in most of the cases. You might want to use other different algorithms. For me, Atkinson is the very best. What we will do now is simply process this. And basically you have to click here. You will see like a bounding box in blue. Create the toolpath. 
if this was a basic shape and we want to do cutting or there's mainly lines only you want to cut just multipass fixed power take a look on the guide that we can provide you with about all the values so you do the right one for each material but on this occasion won't be the case so we will save we have the toolpath already created we simply want to preview it there we go so basically all these blue dots would be the toolpath itself what we can do now is simply generate the G code we can load it to the workspace and if we were here connected to the machine of course we could just send the file via Wi-Fi and launch it from the machine Hi again, as you could see guys in the time lapse, this is pretty much the small job that we run. As I mentioned at the beginning, this was my very first experience with the laser and I'm quite impressed. The quality that you can achieve, the resolution is really high. Just consider that the higher is the resolution and the bigger is the job, the longer time it will take. You might consider that depending on what's your level of production. Uh, overall, super easy, super fun. The two other aspects I wanted to make sure to touch uh, return of investment and also the health and safety as a main, I would say. About the investment, just think how expensive it could be to just send to a, an entity, a company, to make, for example, this kind of things, whether it's a souvenir or something for you, for home. Normally, you would have to wait quite some time. The cost of it would be quite high, especially if it's not a big batch. Um, so if you capitalize the machine in that way, you don't need those many jobs to actually pay off the whole thing. Depends if you will take the whole machine as a bundle, other add-ons, not only enclosure, that's fine. Uh, but I really see the opportunity, not necessarily you being a professional, even if you're a hobbyist at home, you can actually pay off the machine in not that long time. Um, I just thought it was fair to share that with you. But the main thing here for me was the safety of the machine and they actually sorted everything. When we were recording this, actually they launched the air purifying unit. So even if you don't take the enclosure, actually they are helping you to be safe when you are using it. One thing, goggles always use them, but are you the only person that is uh, exposed to the laser or actually you will be with the goggles, but there are some other people walking around in the place. Could be your home, could be an office, a workshop. Just consider this, because if it's only you, that's fine. But if it's more people, you might want to get the enclosure. Remember, you have the door detection system, so you can actually open. It will pause. You can check. You can close, resume, and there will be not a uh, failure. Um, the air purifying unit is also really good. Let's say that you don't take that one. In the fan that you have over there, you can actually connect the exhaust that comes with the enclosure as well, and you can just redirect those fumes. The fumes are really bad for you. They will also probably be annoying with your smoke detecting system. So you might actually uh, plan this as well whenever you are mounting your own. So guys, uh, in resume, I'm really happy with the machine. We don't mind to showing that to you. You can check uh, each of our offices, which one is best for you. We can do it online. Get in touch. We can assist you also in many languages, not only English. That's a plus as well. We will be happy to assist you. Uh, we are waiting for you. And remember, it's the right fit for you. You can get just the machine, you can get any of all the add-ons, you can mix and match. There's bundle options, so just give us a call, send us an email, we're here for you. So thank you, and see you on the next video.